Here we're going to tie a fly called the circus peanut. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our thread started on our hook. This is going to be the articulated version of the circus peanut, so this is going to be our, our rear hook. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take two plumes of marabou here, and we're going to measure these out the length of the hook. We're going to tie those in. all the way back to the bend of the hook. We could trim out the excess. And we'll just quickly kind of clean all this up. For this fly you can use some fairly thick thread. UTC 140 is what I'm using but you can use even thicker. So now we have the tail tied in. We're going to take three or four chunks of red flashaboo. We're going to tie that in on one side of the tail. We're going to tie that in also on the other side and I just use one piece. I just cross to the other side and pull it over and lash it down. You could trim that just a hair longer than the tail itself. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in some black schlappen. We're going to stroke all these fibers back with our hands and tie it in by the tip. Now the next thing to do is to tie in some black ice chenille. And we're going to take our thread all the way up to the eye of the hook. I'm going to take that slap or that uh, ice chenille, take it forward, I'm going to leave just a little bit of room here, I'm going to quickly tie it off, and we're going to tie in some, actually we'll wrap our slap in here in a second. Now we're going to wrap our schlappen. I'm going to stroke these fibers back with each wrap we, we take. I'm trying to get them all to lay back nice and clean. Then we can capture our slap and feather. Stroke all these fibers backwards. We're ready for our rubber legs, which are just going to be some pink loco legs. Do three on each side. And we're going to take our thread forward. The reason we did this and left our ice chenille here is we're going to wrap this ice chenille right in front of the legs. This will force them back. And once we get to the eye, we can capture it. Trim out the rest of your ice chenille. Trim your legs. Want those to just be a little longer in the body. And you can whip finish. Put down some glue if you like to. And just set that portion aside. That's going to be the rear half of the fly. So now we're going to work on the front half. 
use the same hook and put it in the vise upside down I'm going to tie in some lead eyes try to center them I'm going to leave a little bit of space from the eye of the hook there. You can see I didn't put the eyes all the way up to the front of the hook. We're just going to figure eight here. And just before you make your last few wraps, you take a little bit of zappa gap. I just add a little bit right to the center portion of the eyes and lay down my last few wraps. Careful not to overdo it. Add too much glue, it just takes a little bit. Alright, then you can flip your hook back over. We're going to tie in some trailing hook wire. I usually just match the color that I'm tying, so I'm going to tie in some black. Really bind down tight on that. We're going to add a couple of beads. I just use egg beads, but you can use large glass beads. They need to be fairly big in order to do the job. Then you just simply thread those onto your trailer hook and whatever you can use whatever color you like. And then you're going to take that and you're going to thread it up through the eye of the rear portion of the fly that we just tied. Then you're going to go back through the beads. Last one is always the one that gives you the hardest time. You close the loop here. You leave just a little bit of room, just enough to let it swing freely. And you're going to bind down on trailing hook wire. I'll kind of double over it real quick. Then you can trim that out of there. Now we're ready for the tail portion. We're just going to use one plume of marabou. Just make it long enough to barely touch the eye to the last hook there. I'll wrap all the way back to those beads. wet your fingers to get it out of there. Now we're going to tie in our black schlappen once again. Tie it in by the tip, same way we did on the rear portion of the fly. Now we're ready for some black ice chenille once again. Tie this in at the rear as well. Take it forward. We're going to leave it right behind the eye of the hook. With each wrap, I just kind of stroke this back, trying to make a nice, even, even body. And once we're right behind those eyes, we can capture the ice chenille. 
just leave it hanging there. Now we're ready for our slapping once again. Can wrap this around the body, trying to stroke all those fibers back. Get all them to lay back nice and pretty. And once we get to where our ice chenille is, we can capture that schlappen, trim it out of there carefully. Don't worry if it looks a little wild right now, it'll all lay back once we get it all into place. Now we're ready for our pink loco legs again. You don't necessarily have to use pink, you can use red or orange or chartreuse, whatever color you like. I like this black on pink look. Tie them in on each side just like we did on the rear portion of the fly. Take our thread all the way to the eye. Gonna lay down a wrap or two right behind these eyes. Right in front of the legs, and then we're gonna figure eight around these eyes. Just gonna make sure you covered everything. You can capture. And you can trim out the excess and whip finish. Just kind of clean up the head. Add a little bit of Zappa Gap when you're all finished. Trim those legs. And then just kind of pretty it up here for you. Essentially, that is the circus peanut articulated version. See if I can zoom out enough here for you. Very effective fly, especially for angry fall brown trout. Pretty easy to tie. Somewhat lengthy, but tie this on heavy, heavy tippet when you fish it. Sinking line. Get it down there in front of their face. That is the circus peanut.